Hey guys, it's Charlie here. So, uh, I've posted a video or two about my, my little SUV conversion. One thing that's been a consistent issue throughout the entire time I've had it, had this vehicle is how do you manage ventilation, right? There's a, there's two primary ways you can do it. You can do, um, active ventilation, which is you have like fans, your AC, your heater system would be a form of active ventilation. Um, but there's some issues with that. You have to wire in things that apply switches. If you're, um, if you don't have a, a, a secondary system that's independent of your vehicle's ventilation system, you have to uh, run the engine every so often to actually ventilate air. And, yeah, that can eat any gas and time and that sort of stuff, right? So, and if you don't ventilate the air, A, you're going to have a buildup of condensation or moisture inside your vehicle, which can get things like mildew and rot, and it's generally unhygienic. And uh, two, if you're sitting here sleeping and you're breathing in and out and you're, you know, you could actually increase um, the carbon dioxide levels and stuff in here, uh, not to necessarily to a dangerous degree, but you, you probably won't be too comfortable, right? So in order to be more comfortable, we need to make sure we're moving air and stuff inside here. And what I've been doing is I've got the little uh, um, covers that go over the edge of your window on the outside that you can kind of lower your window an inch or two, and it'll give you some good um, airflow through that way. However, as it's summertime comes along and gets a little bit hotter and I want more airflow through my vehicle, I was trying to think of ways where I can open up my windows a little bit more while still keeping as much of the elements outside as I possibly can. Um, I don't want bugs and leaves and, and um, you know, trash from inconsiderate passersby coming, you know, into my vehicle. So I want something that's, if I want to drop my window down five or six inches or three, even three to four inches, I need, I want to put something there that kind of keeps the stuff out but lets the air flow through and a while ago I was on a Facebook page that talks specifically about like cheap kind of um, common man everyday hacks for living uh, frugally or thriftly thrift, thriftly thriftly frugally uh, in a van in a vehicle setting and one idea that somebody posted I don't remember their name I would totally say here if I could remember it but I just simply don't remember it so I'm sorry um, recommended using Something uh, that we you can find pretty much any sort of home improvement store, and that is a gutter guard. And the way these things are designed to work is you stick this edge up underneath your shingles, and you stick the other edge un up against your gutter. And as when it rains, the rain will flow through these little holes and get caught in your gutter and get carried away by your gutter. However, the leaves and the gook and the squirrels and things like that that might clog up your gutter uh, prevent it from going into your gutter and causing issues. Um... I looked at this and I went down to Home Depot or Menards, I'm sorry, one day and I was looking at it I'm like, that could actually really work. And the reason is if you look at the, that cross section of it here, you see that little channel right there that would typically snap into your gutter. Well, that fits great over auto glass. So I picked up a chunk and I just cut a section of it and fit it to my window and stuff. I did paint it a little bit. I'll talk about that in a second. And it works great so far. Um, I haven't really had a chance to thoroughly test it yet. I want to try leaving it in while I drive to see how it stands up. I don't foresee it being any issues, having it, it having any issues at all whatsoever, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know in the future. Um, so let me show you what I did and how I did it and kind of explain my rationale behind it. Coming here, as you can kind of see, this is my screen. It's green because I actually painted the outside but left the inside white. Um, I just don't want it to be a cave inside of my, my van, so I just left, I like to leave nice light colors. The green adds a little bit of a hue, but it's not too crazy. So, but the outside is green. I'll explain why I did that in a second. But if you notice up in here, that edge sits inside of that, that track of the door frame where the window sits. Same thing over here the edge sits inside the track where the window sits in the door frame so what i did is i actually measured from this dimension all the way across to this dimension and then i added the depth of that track to my dimension so you need might need to get a little poking stick or something kind of figure out what that depth is in there and then double that and add that to your overall measurement for your piece what you're also going to have to do here is notch out that track a little bit because as you notice this sits in here and this isn't going to fit inside of that track and you actually might break the track if you tried to stuff this uh channel piece in there so you want to notch it out a bit obviously i didn't get mine crazy tight but it's good enough now the way this works is you roll down your window and you finagle it in there i'm not going to do it here because it takes two hands and i don't have three hands because 
you know, I'm human. So you put your finagled in there, it drops in, it's, that channel will slip over the glass just like that and kind of grip the glass a little bit. And then what it will do, what you do then is you then just simply roll the window up. My car is off, the motor doesn't like to run as well. Up until the, and then make sure that it catches that little edge up there. And then there you go. Now you're all set. So that's what I'll post a picture here. What it looks like from the outside. Um, I opted to paint mine on the outside green. I did that for a couple of reasons. One, um, this is PVC, and PVC is, uh, does not like the heat. It doesn't like the sun. So a little bit of paint on there helped protect it from the sun, uh, prevent UV damage, kind of prolong the life of your gutter material. Two, um, I don't live full-time out of my vehicle. I'm only a part-timer. So when I'm home, I'm, I help my mother-in-law take care of a couple of nine-year-old boys. I'm also a teacher, so... And they are absolutely infatuated with farm equipment and tractors and combines. And I, I live in the area of the, of the country. So as you can see, there's a big wheat field behind me. The wheat's just starting to come in. They love those types of stuff. And I happen to get some, a can of, I can get the paint for free, quite frankly. Um, it's basically a can of uh, the, the John Deere Green Farm Implement touch-up paint. And I got a can for free. It was half can. They're almost done with it. And they're like, here, here you go. So I had the paint for free. I wanted to paint to protect the, the color, and because they think, you know, the, the back of my car is pretty cool too, I figured I would um, go ahead and paint it up for them, kind of in, in their sort of honor, so to speak. So, of course, you can go different colors. You can try and color match the, the color of your car. That way, um, it stands out a little bit less. You can go the random crazy color, like neon pink or purple or blaze orange or something if you wanted to. Um, it's entirely up to you. Make for, you know, do what you want for going more of a stealth look. Maybe color matching the, the, the exterior of your vehicle will be a bit better. Um, if you just don't care, go with whatever color you want, man. It is your vehicle. You do you. So, in any case, that's my quick little, little window cover hack. I need to go get another piece because I just enough to do the one window, but not the other one. And you're not going to get good passive ventilation if you don't have, um, at a minimum two points of, e of, uh, ingress and egress for the air to move through so i'm definitely need to go down to uh, menards and get another chunk of this and do one up for the other window as well um let me know if you have any questions post a comment or two if you want uh, i'll answer them as best as i can and i hope you guys are having a great spring uh, I'm, i can't wait for summer my next project is to put a big roof rack up here up on the roof here so i can throw some fly rods and i'm probably gonna put a tying kit down underneath and underneath my bed at the end of my bed there so i can tie some flies on the river and stuff so I'm not working, kind of enjoying myself a little bit, especially since I want to have wife and kids with me. <laughs> not that I won't miss them, but it's nice to have the quiet sometimes. So have a good day, you guys.